Hello, in this video I'm going to show you guys my favourite Cypher setups that I use on the Lotus. It's got some nice one ways, some nice cams and some insane tripwires that you could use in your games and I'll explain everything in depth. The first cam you want to do, you want to stand heaven and you want to put your cam anywhere along this ledge and try and put it as far in the corner as you can without it actually touching this wall. Like that. Allows you to see main. Also allows you to see trees if anybody's pushing out. Allows you to activate a one way cage I'll show you guys in a little bit. And if the enemy team's pushing upstairs, you can come to your team if he's hiding, if he's default planting. So this this cam is good for that. There are some variations where people put the cam a little bit higher up so it's harder to shoot. Something like this. The only downside is the, tr the, the leaves actually block your cam dart. So I'll show you what I mean. See? You're, you won't be able to ping people that are hiding behind these leaves or down there. But this is it's still good, it gives you the same information, it's just a little bit harder to ping people with the cam. Another cam you can do is a cam that you place in this general area. So you want to walk against this wall, it can be anywhere along this wall, I like staying towards the edge. And you want to aim at the top right corner and then you want to jump rope like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can actually see further into A main. So let's say the enemy team's walking across or they want to push a link. You, act, you can actually see all of that happening with your cam. You don't even need to move the cam, you can just turn it on. If they've got a lurker, you'll be able to see him walk across. You can see him walk towards stairs. It's nice. You can also cover trees with this cam. So it's a pretty, pretty nice cam. It's a good variation to the default cam I showed earlier. Another cam you can do is you want to put your cam in this area, like this. And this is kind of like a one-way cam. You can use it some rounds, especially if you want to like spot five people early. You can see their legs, they can't really see the cam. Like this, you can see their, their little toes. Cam's a little bit harder to spot, you can see them running across, it's, it's nice. And you can activate this a little bit later if you want. Activate it early for early information, you can activate it a little bit later, especially if their team plays really slow, and then you'll get them by surprise. Boom. And it's pretty hidden, a lot of the time people don't pay attention to that spot, because it'll be smoked out. But Cage triggered. You can actually see over some smokes, so pretty nice cam. A cam I like doing sometimes is an early info cam. So I just chuck it as soon as the barrier goes down. Boom. Now you can listen out to any sound. You can hear people making footsteps, placing util down. So it's good. You can, at least you'll know someone's in the area and can watch Link too. Watch his flank. Let's say your team's playing towards C and you've got one on A with you, no one's watching B, and the enemy team starts pushing up B and comes out of stairs. <laughs> you can actually also ping the guy taking the warp, and I'll show you what I mean. If you ping the guy, you can warbang him with a phantom. You can warbang him with an Odin. So it's a good cam for a warbang setup. With the cam in this area, you can actually, if you want it to be more hidden, more protected, you can bring it across. Like this. A little bit harder for the enemies to shoot, but you also get a little bit less vision. But it still works for the one-way setup I'll show you guys. Another cam you can do, you see this pillar going across. If you aim at the yeah. top left of it, like this, and you throw. It's a pretty simple cam. It can get shot out, but it gives you so much information that even if it does get shot out, you'll, you'll, you'll see everybody and you'll be fine. With this cam, you kind of want to play trees like this. Because as soon as you hear the door rotating, You'll be alert and you're gonna have a one-way setup that i'll show you guys in a little bit so this cam's good for that it also allows you to see main wall of sight anybody planting in these corners pretty nice and you can play off your tripwire that i'll show and as soon as they hit your tripwire boom boom you can activate a cage so it's a pretty good cam for that your default trips that you can do on a main one of them that i like doing is this this typical one you can do it before the barrier drops it gives you the information you need if anybody's actually crossing and they actually can't see a lot of sights. So if you've got a teammate that's playing here, this tripwire has to be broken before they peek out. I've seen some tripwires that actually, that, you know, activate a bit too late and then the enemy team might still get a kill. So this tripwire is good for that. Nice default tripwire too. This is an expected tripwire, so you can vary this one up. Maybe you want to do it something like this. If you aim in the center of this tree and you line it up, uh -huh. There we go, like this. If you aim too high, then people will be able to crouch underneath it. So make sure you don't do it too, too high. But this is a good variation to this one. It covers the same areas, 
Prevents anybody pushing stairs, prevents anybody pushing sight. So this is nice. The tripwire I like doing though, when I'm solo holding sight, is something like this. This is because if you put the tripwire a little bit too early like this, a lot of the time it will be in people's faces, right? When they clear in these corners, it will be the first thing they see, so they'll break that. But if it's a little bit further back, they'll think, oh, he hasn't set up here. Uh -oh. And then you can peek out, you can kill them. With this tripwire, I like playing back sight and I have a cage like this. Sometimes you don't even need a cage because once they get hit by the tripwire, you can wall bank through this box. But I like having a cage here because it gives me more room to actually, you know, move out or move into them. Sometimes people don't expect ciphers to push into their cages, so try that. Another tripwire you can do is the anti-plant tripwire, so something like this. People like planting in this corner. Uh-oh. They like pushing back sites. Uh-oh. And with this tripwire, you can pair it with a pretty nice one-way. So to do the one-way, you walk into this corner, like this, and you see this dark spot on the tree. If you aim inside the dark spots and you throw, Nice and simple. And on low graphics, it's the exact same thing. You see the dark spot, you aim inside. Boom. And I'll show you how it looks from your perspective. So, you know, the enemies are pushing. You can see them. You can come to your team. Oh, one of them's gone stairs. And then you see the guy coming around this area. Cage triggered. And they won't be able to see you. Or, let's say they've broken that cam. You wait for them to hit the tripwire. Cage triggered. And you can actually wallbang a little bit of this, so you're a little bit more protected. And boom. And from the enemy's perspective... Cage triggered. They ain't seeing you. They are not seeing you unless they're inside the cage. But by the, by the time they're actually in the cage, you're going to spray them down. So it's a pretty nice one-way setup. Do not play the one-way from inside sight like this. Cage triggered. Because the person that's in this area will actually see you first and you won't be able to see him he'll have an advantage over you and he can kill you and then you're gonna be like what so yeah be careful when doing this one way only play backside with this one way don't play inside like this because it ain't gonna end well for you a trip i like doing for trees is just this nice and simple one like this the reason i do this is because you see all these bumps if you try and do like a tripwire something like this maybe it's a lot easier for people to jump over because of these humps on the ground. People get some elevation and then they can jump over. So that tripwire is nice. If you do want to switch things up, maybe you could do a diagonal one like this. It's a little bit harder to jump over, especially if their team really likes rushing a site. This one will surprise them. If you're playing bank site and cipher like this, let's say the enemy team uses grenades to break all of the tripwire's main and they're just they really like rushing and pushing you. You could do a tripwire like this. Prevents them from pushing back sight, prevents them from pushing back sight this way, prevents them from pushing back sight this way, prevents them from getting up ropes. So you can use this to catch them off guard. You can play here with this tripwire, you can hold this angle. As soon as they hit this tripwire, boom, or they hit this one, boom. You can warbang all of this. So that's pretty nice. Another tripwire for A site you could do is like this, prevents people pushing this way, prevents people pushing back sight. From here, once they actually enter site this way, prevents them from planting here. here. So it's a good setup for that, especially if you're playing here, maybe, or if you are playing here. You can use this tripwire, boom. You can even play here, warbang the people that hit this tripwire, and then peek out and kill the guy that's planting. Now, a little bonus tip this cage that I've shown you guys can actually be used if you're attacking. So let's say you planted here, here. on site. And then you can use this cage. Boom, oh, whilst they're defusing, you are favoured. Because anywhere here, you are actually favoured with the one way. And you can just spray them down. So the one way setup and the warbang setup for trees. I'll show you guys that now. So you want to place your tripwire like this. Do not line up the tripwire whilst you're on this piece of grass. Because if you line it up head level like this whilst crouching. But when they open the door, they can crouch underneath it. The reason being... There's a little elevation there, so line it, line the tripwire up while it's crouched on the ground over here. So this is your tripwire. It's not going to break when the door opens, which is nice. And to do the one way, you want to walk into the center of this pillar like this. Boom. And you see this gray slab going all the way across. You want to aim your crosshair in there, anywhere in there. Aim a little bit to the left. 
Because if you aim to, on the right, it's, the cage is going to bounce out onto the floor. So aim a little bit to the left. Anywhere, anywhere in this line, but towards the left. Boom. You could, if you want, you can aim a little bit further down. Boom. Same cage. So, and um, this is what the cage looks like. So you could be playing inside here, you'll see them, they'll be so confused. And this is what the enemy's perspective will look like. So let's say the door's active. Wait until they hit the tripwire. Buzz. They, they aren't seeing you. They are not seeing you. And you'll get a free kill. Maybe even two. With this warbang setup, you know, you can either ping the orb and then just shoot through it. Or let's say the cam's broken. If the cam's broken, you can aim in this slab area and just... And you're guaranteed to kill the guy who's taken the orb. So if, even if the cam's broken, just aim inside this block and you'll kill the guy taking the orb. Something else you can do with this warbang setup that, you know, a lot of people don't do. But if you want to be really cringe, if you want to be so cringe and just piss the entire enemy team off, what you could do, you could stand here and... Let's say they're breaking this, or, you know, they, they're in the process of breaking that. You can see them going across, or you can break this yourself. If you actually ping this, let's say you want to break this, and you just... See? So the more you shoot, it's just going to break. And if people are... If the enemy team is pushing that area, you see them go in. They're going to be so annoyed. Imagine, like, all four of them are like, you know what? You know what, guys? Let's, let's take... Let's take a link and let's rotate. <laughs> you spot them, and then you shove like a hundred bullets in their ass and they're dead. Your typical tripwire for B sites, you want to place your tripwire like this. This is the anti lurk tripwire, so if anybody wants to, you know, like this. They're going to get hit by this. They have to break it if they push onto site. They can't jump or crouch underneath it. And this tripwire, I use this when we play Premier on Lotus. We normally would have... Here. Two on A, two Here. on C, and we'll have one person Here. in Link. We'll have an Ashra in Link, we'll have me playing C, someone else, you know, maybe helping me out on C, and then two A. We leave B, we retake B, so this tripwire will hold all of B for you. I've seen people put a Killjoy Terror up there, but this, if you're playing Cypher and you're the solo Sentinel, this tripwire will do the job for you, and then you can put your other tripwire on C or A, so it's nice. If you want, if you're forced to play B, and you, you have to hold B, then there's this tripwire you can do, like this, so it ends right here. This is an anti-rush tripwire because they actually won't be able to break it as easy from this side. So let's say a lot of the time people just like shoot this general area, you know, it's a little bit, they've got one thing to shoot instead of two, so it gives them a lower chance of breaking it. They do this, they run onto the side, uh-oh, and it's a little bit lower, so it's not in people's vision. Bang! They hit a tripwire, and you can... Kill them, you can have a cage set up there. Another tripwire you could do is a diagonal tripwire. So if you aim right there, you see this darkened line going down? You aim. Yeah. Prevents anybody from running onto sites this way. Prevents them from pushing link. Prevents them from pushing back site. They actually can, if they're so careful, they can do some tactical jump like this. But a lot of the time, they're going to hit this. If they want to plant here, they're going to get hit. If they plant here, they're going to get hit. So it's a pretty nice tripwire. Let's say the enemy team's broken this, or the enemy team keeps breaking this. You can do a tripwire like this. Pretty nice, nice and simple. Prevents anybody pushing out of link this way. Or you can vary up a little bit. You could do something like this. Prevents people from B site pushing link. And prevents them pushing this way. It's a little bit, a little bit hidden. You know, there's not two points, so they have to actually break it from one way. Not, not They don't have multiple options to break the tripwire, so... This is the good variation of that. If you want an anti... If you just want to try something insane, something different, you could try this. So you see there's these two circles. There's a big one and a medium one. On the bottom right of the medium one, you want to aim your tripwire. Takes a little bit to adjust, but once you get it... <laughs> prevents people pushing link. Or instance, people push it out of link. And where this really shines is if, let's say, somebody's lurked up into C. They're in this area. They're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Thinking he's going to do something for his team. Thinking he's like the best player in the world. He comes up. Oh, his entire lurking plan's been ruined. 
And now you know there's a little clown behind you guys. And he's going to be crying and his team's going to flame him for being dumb. So, good tripwire for that. Some cams you can use on Beast Knight. You want to stand. Evan, like this. And you can aim. Like that. Gives you a pretty nice view of sight. Let's you see main. Let's you see if anybody's flanking you. Let's you see heaven. Let's you see link. Ping all the planters from every single plant spot. It's a good camera. It sees a lot. Variation of this one can be if you stand in this corner like this. Don't fall off though. And then you just put your cam just there. Does the same thing. You can actually see their legs a little bit. You can see their toes as they're pushing out of the main before they even see the cam. So this is a good variation. You can bring it a little bit to the right if you want. Like that. Now you can ping them in main, which is nice. And all of all of this. So some nice cams and B sites, but I have a hidden cam. I have a hidden cam for you. You wanna stand here like this, and you wanna aim. See the camera goes red. Bring it across until it goes blue, and then lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. As high as you can get it. There we go. Like that. Ho 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 ho. Now you can watch the link. You can actually see their toes first. Ping them. You can see a lot of sight, and this is what I mean by seeing a lot of sight. Let's say they got a guy planting here, or some guy chilling here. Hello. So this is like a nice hidden cam, especially if you've got a tripwire B main. You can use this cam. This cam's kind of nice. You can use this to kill any flanker. Let's say your tripwire isn't here, and you've, you've done that that really long tripwire. Oh. Done a really long tripwire. You can see them shifting across like this, and... Then if the guy's coming up this way, the tripwire is going to hit him. So this is like your anti-flank setup. This is good. When you're playing B site, you kind of want to play back site or you can play heaven like this. This is if you're forced to play. If not, then I think Cypher does a lot better on A and C. So one tripwire here, unless you've got a teammate watching. If you've got a teammate watching B, you don't need to put a tripwire there. But if you've got nobody watching, there's no harm in putting a tripwire down. So your default cam you want to do on C site. There are a couple of variations to this. So I'll show you the three variations I use for the default cam. Then I'll show you like a billion others. So you want to jump onto this ledge like this. You can put your cam. You want to put your cam on this thing that's holding the flower. So you aim a little bit so the cam goes blue and then just boom. Hee hee hee. You can actually see their toes before they enter site, so it's a good cam for that. It doesn't give you early information, but this cam can see everything. You can ping the guy here, and if you've got an Odin, and you're playing here, you can actually spray your Odin through all of that. Here. So, you ping him, beep beep, just you know, rip him apart, so that's nice. So this default cam is really good for that. And this default cam is also good, let's say you're playing here with an Odin. You're forced to play a little bit off site. You can actually ping them as they're coming up. Boom. Wall bang. All of this. All of that. And they're going to be upset. Standing on the same ledge, you can aim the cam at this petal. And it takes a little bit. It takes a little tiny bit, but you can actually get it up there. So this is good. Just a variation. If you want it a little bit easier, you can put it in this corner down there. So just throw like this. A little bit more hidden, the only downside is the leaves actually block the cam dart, but it's okay, it's more hidden, so that's also nice, it doesn't stick out like it does over there, so it's a pretty nice cam. What I like to do when the barrier goes down, I like putting my cam up here, especially on pistol rounds, because then you can see all five people as they're pushing you, so it's nice, and if they're rotating, or if, they're, if you see five people, you can tell your teammate who's playing on A or on B, so, you know, push up a little bit, get to rubble, maybe get into lobby. You can tell your B main player, you can get behind this box, or you can hide on the other side of this box in case they open the door. So, this cam is really good, especially if the enemy is on an eco, because if they're on an eco, they usually play together. So, this is nice. You can use this even on gun rounds. This cam gives you so much early information. If you want the cam to be a little bit more hidden, you can put it behind this box. And as they're walking onto site, you can ping them, maybe. Or if you see them, you can use this cam to activate some one-way cages that I'll show you guys. So this is a hidden version of that cam. So, you know, place the cam out. It gives you so much information. Underrated camera. 
Another cam you can do is if you jump onto this ledge like this and you aim, you want to kind of want to put your cam on this stone slab over here like that. So you want to aim at the bottom and then just jump throw like this so it gets placed there. Gives you a very nice view of sight. You can see a bit of A main. You can see waterfall. Maybe they've got a guy that, maybe they've got an omen that TP'd over your B main tripwire and now he's yeah. shifting across. You'll see his little ass ping him and he's going to be like, oh no. And then he's going to be upset. You can see main, you can ping their foreheads. You can use this to also activate your one-way cages. So that's pretty nice. A very good cam. If you want a var variation of that cam, you can actually stand on the same ledge and you want to chuck your cam here, over there. So you want to aim, and then at the peak of your jump, throw. Look at this. So it's a good variation. You can actually see back sight too now. So let's say you only have one tripwire. Let's say you put your tripwire B main like that. Then you can save your other tripwire like this and you can play off sight. And then when they hit that tripwire, you can peek off and kill them. So we can play here. here, and this cam will protect you. This is such a good cam. On these ledges, you can do so many cameras, and there's so many variations, but I'm going to show you guys the ones I use the most. So you can aim at this corner, like this, and then you just jump throw. You can see into C main. You can see waterfall. You can see sights, too. It gives you a little bit more vision of sights than the other cams. You can use this to activate one-way cages too. Honestly, there's so many variations for this cam. Another variation is you can put it at the top left corner over here instead of the top right corner, top left. Allows you to see a little bit further into C main. A little bit less of waterfall, a little bit less of backside, but this is a good cam. Another cam you can do is if you stand on the same ledge, literally these ledges are beautiful. So you stand on it and you can aim like that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this cam. To do mine one ways for C, you can do it on high and low graphics. It's pretty nice. You want to walk into this corner like this. And we're going to use this part of our HUD line. We're going to use the right corner of it. And then we're going to make sure that right corner touches the bottom of this lily pad. So I'll bring you up nice and slow. There we go. And boom. There's some room for error, so I can drag a little bit down. It doesn't have to touch the lily pad. It can be inside the lily pad too. Boom. As long as the right corner is touching the bottom, the middle bottom of that lily pad, you're going to get a pretty easy one-way cage. To do the next one-way, you want to stand in the same corner. And you see this dark line? This dark line, when that touches this petal, just aim a little bit above where they touch. You want to throw your cage. Can be done on high and low graphics. Boom. So that's a pretty simple one-way setup that you guys can, can use. To do this one-way setup, you want to activate both cages. The only reason is because it's such a wide area. If you activate one of them, there's still room for the enemies to shoot you back and see you. So, Cage boom, boom. Triggered. Look at that. And even if the enemy is further back, it still is an advantage to you. You'll be able to see them. It will be easier for you. I'll show you what it looks like from the enemy's perspective. Cage so let's say the guys are pushing here. They ain't. These guys are not seeing you. These guys are not seeing you. And if he's right here tucked in a corner, he'll be able to see you. But you'll also be able to see him, so it's fine. Cage, cage triggered. But do be mindful, see? You'll be able to see him, but do be mindful. It, don't stand here for too long, because people will realize. And this left one-way cage, you can actually also cage activate triggered. it here. Let's say you want to save a cage. You can use the own, you can you only need to use the one on the left, and then you can do it from here. If you're playing back sites like this, then you want to activate both of these cages. And your default tripwire that you want to use is this one, you know, they can't really push side, they can't crouch or jump underneath it if the enemy team has a raise that likes double satcheling or a raise that likes, or a jet that likes updrafting, you can place a tripwire a little bit higher and a little bit closer to them. So you could put it here maybe. So when the barrier goes down like this, you can even put it further when the barrier goes down. But I like 
like this if they've got an enemy jet. Place it a little bit high so when she does updraft, ooh, her legs are going to get caught. And then you can use your one way to prevent the rest of her team following behind her. And then you can isolate fights. You can kill the jets that got revealed by the tripwire. Then you can kill the rest of the team using the one ways. Pretty good tripwire. Let's say the jet. They let's say they break your typical default tripwires in that area. You can do a tripwire like this. So let's say the enemy raise or jet wants to satchel onto site. You can play here then. And as soon as they hit this tripwire, bzz, you can start spraying them. You can adjust the height of this. You can put it higher if you want. I don't know if the jet's like flipping got 10 up drafts and put up here, but you know, you can adjust the height of it like this to prevent the enemy from updrafting towards sites this way. You can use the corner of this box like this to get a pretty nice tripwire that prevents people from pushing back sites. You can use, you know, you can vary this tripwire. You can put it in this corner so it hits them a little bit earlier and also prevents them from walking back sites. You can do a, a simple tripwire like this if you want and pair it with this one-way cage. That's, that's fine. You can also do a tripwire like this. Boom. But, but, if you're feeling a little bit exotic, you know, a little bit, a little bit naughty, what you can do is use, you see these flowers on these li lily pads? You can actually put tripwires on them. <laughs> so this is like a variation to the A main tripwire. There's so many. You could, one like this. Prevents them from pushing back sight. Or something like this. This one can be used like this. Get into flipping here. There's so many different ways you can use these flowers on these lily pads. You want something like this if you want. That's all of back sight covered. So with these lily pads and these flowers, you can experiment and find one for literally every single situation. And these are like, if the enemy team just likes rushing into you, these on the floor are the ones you want. You can put a tripwire in waterfall like this. Let's say you don't get time to put your tripwire beam in and there's always someone flanking. You can put one here like this to prevent them from pushing you from waterfall like this. There's also a pretty, this tripwire, I don't use it as often, but it's worked. If you aim at the top of this, prevents people from like rushing site this way. And if they've got an enemy jet that likes updrafting, like from here a little bit later, or they're like updrafting and their legs are gonna hit this. So it's a, it's, it's a nice tripwire to use. There are better variations and better versions and I've shown them earlier, but if, you, if you're just feeling Exotic, why not? Why not try that one out? Let's say one of your teammates yeah. is hiding here. Let's say you've got an omen and he's yeah. TP'd into this corner. What you can do is you can put a tripwire. <laughs> like this. And then the omen can play off that tripwire. Or, you know, or you can even play off this tripwire by peeking over here. Have a cage set up there. They hit your tripwire. Boom, boom, boom. You can peek out. So you can use this as soon as a barrier goes down. You can put this cage, put this tripwire, I mean. And you can have a teammate playing here. So, like, and you can you can bring it down a little bit if you want. Like that. So when the barrier goes down, try this tripwire. Let me know how this one goes. I use this sometimes, especially if, I, if my duo is an omen and he's TP yeah. down there. It works. And you can use this to surprise enemies, especially in Premiere. People are going to be, like, people will take Premiere Valorant so, like, they're, they're so zoned and so focused that they won't, they'll be like, okay, he's going to have a tripwire here, let me pre-fire this. But then the tripwire is down here and he's going to be like, huh? And he's going to stand there like a baboon. And then your omen can either peek and kill him or you can peek and kill him and bait for your omen that's standing in this corner and he can kill the rest, so... Plenty of good setups on Lotus. Lotus is an underrated cipher map. This tripwire that you can do here prevents anybody going up to plant anywhere on site. So you can use this tripwire and you can play here. And as soon as they hit the tripwire, you can peek off. That's nice. You can actually put your tripwire inside here like this to prevent anybody from waterfall pushing 
CT or to prevent anybody from here pushing CT. Because they're going to get hit by the tripwire. Or let's say he's planted here and he's not paying too much attention. Uh-oh. So this is good at catching people off. And with this tripwire, you can play backside. You can have a cage set up here, maybe. They hit the tripwire. Boom, 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 boom. And if you hear them plant, you can ping with your cam down there. You can warbang one of this. And you can also have a tripwire set up like this. And as soon as... Uh-oh. You can peek out from backside and just mow them down with your Odin. So there's... Plenty of different setups. You can even vary that one by doing something like this. So if they're running, if the enemy team really likes planting in this area, or they really like running and pushing CT, prevents them from pushing CT this way, especially if they're running, prevents them from pushing CT this way. And they can crouch underneath this, but you can see them. You can have your cam set up there. You'll see them do all of this clown activities, and it'll kill them. So many variations.